Pow! What's up everybody? So if you remember a few months ago, I decided to get into oil painting and I did a major art haul, which you can check right here. And one of the things that I got were a bunch of brushes. And they're all from this company right here, Trickel. So what we're gonna do, is it Trickel or Trickel? Anyways, <laughs> what we're gonna do is that I'm gonna give you guys a review of the brushes how I use them, which ones are my favorite. I use each of them differently. As you can see, some are, are used more than others just by the bristles. So I'm gonna give you guys a review and I'm gonna tell you if this is worth buying. Now, just to give you a rundown of the brushes that I use, I have some round brushes. I got long flat, filbert. I got a mop brush here. This is a shader brush. Some small round brushes, script brush. I don't really use round brushes. The main workhorse behind a lot of my pictures are the flat brushes and the shader brushes along with the mop brush to blend the small areas that I need to blend and get that nice smooth transition. Now let's talk about one of my favorites from the set. This is an opal brush. This is a synthetic hog brush and it's usually what I do a lot of my work with. So here I have two long flat brushes for the opal. Now I absolutely love these brushes man. These are usually what I use to put a lot of paint on the canvas. It loads really well. But also, if you see, because it's flat, and especially this one, because it's small, I'm able to get into certain areas, the, those small tight areas, and I'm able to fill in shades or fill in a bit of highlights. I can always also point it on the edge and do some highlights there. So this brush is very handy. This is like a multi-purpose brush in terms of getting shapes and the right figures and working out some transactions between colors. It's also good for that. It's also good for that kind of blending that you got to kind of do between certain colors. Awesome brush. Now this is a hog bristle brush. It's made out of natural hog hair and here I have the long handle version. This brush is kind of hit or miss for me but let me go ahead and explain it to you. Now this brush, the hog bristle brush, I would say is my least favorite out of the set. Now, it's not a bad brush, but for what I do, it's not really practical in a lot of paintings that, um, that I do. The good thing about this brush, though, is that it loads a ton of paint. So you can load your paint in here and then you won't have to refill the brush for a good amount of time. Another thing, too, is that you can apply the paint pretty thick. So if you want some sort of textured effect, I find that this brush works awesome for that. Another thing too that I like about this brush compared to the other ones is that it can take a ton of abuse, man. <laughs> it can take a ton of abuse. So I, I worked areas of um, hair doing bunches of hair and I was just able to keep going and it didn't really lose its shape. Whereas the other brushes, I, I found I would have to kind of dip it in some sort of medium and kind of bring it back to a shape. This, I was just able to keep going with it. So the endurance of this brush is awesome um, in terms of smoothness and whatnot, which is mainly what I do. It's not practical, but that's my only hang up about the hog bristle brush. Next, we got my absolute favorite out of the set. This is the king of the brushes for me. This is the golden Taclon brush. Absolutely love this brush. This is mainly what I use for a lot of my paintings from start to finish, the Filbert golden Taclon brush. Now, of course, I use the, the long brushes and the um, shader brush, which I got right here. But this is typically what I use to map out my drawing, kind of get the figure going, then I also fill in the area. And then as I progress in the painting, I also use it to really lay in a lot of heavy color and kind of blend everything together. This is like a multi-purpose brush, to be honest with you. You can do so much with this. Another thing, too, is that it's pretty much good for any medium. I've only used it with oil paints but because of the bristles are a mix of soft and stiff more so on the soft side it can also be used well with um, acrylics um, I've also used the brush for glazing I've actually used the, the shader brush for glazing and that works absolutely fine too this is this is a good all-around brush if you can't really buy a whole set of brushes and you're kind of confused about what different brushes to get and you just need something as your main brush to use, go with the Golden Taclon, whether it's Filbert, flat, or if you like to paint with round brushes, go with that. 
but the golden tack line bristles absolutely amazing now i'm not going to talk about the bristles for these but just to point out the uses for them this is their large wash brush this is actually a two inch brush so this is good for um washing large areas as i've done and also painting large areas there's also the script brush that i use this is great for fine details when you got to get into like let's say the eye areas which is i use that for or um you got to do some off strands of hair uh, against the background or whatnot that's awesome for it also the mop brush like i mentioned earlier this is good for blending um if you don't want to use a makeup brush and you want an actual brush this is this works amazing for that i've gotten a lot of nice smooth transitions between colors using this now some of you might be asking well art of death you're telling me all this great stuff about these brushes made by treckle is there anything bad have you had any bad experiences with this brush with these brushes yes i have actually when i got this brush the bristles were extremely flared and and it looked like some had separated however um this is where treckle is a great company and why i continue to buy from them i contacted them sent them pictures let them know about the issue and we were able to rectify things and um they they stepped up I'll, I'll say that they they stepped up and kept me as a customer because of what they did so um yes i've had i i have had problems with the brush also with this brush i found that even though it is um golden tacklon i found that as a wash brush it didn't really retain the paint well for some reason uh, i don't know if that's just this brush itself that i got but that's my only hang up about it my only other hang up um in terms of the brushes that i mentioned earlier was the hog bristle and a part of that can be attributed to that it doesn't really suit my style of painting but i also found out with the hog bristle that it does not work well with wet and wet because the bristles are hard so when i started trying to use it for wet and wet it would just lift up the other layer and then it's like you're starting back at square one now the big question do i recommend these brushes absolutely whether you're getting into acrylic painting or you're getting into oil painting i haven't done any watercolor painting with any of these brushes or watercolor painting in general in like a year <laughs> but i would absolutely recommend these brushes great company great brushes um my suggestion is that if you are going to be using acrylics make sure you go with the golden tacklon brushes or any line of their softer brushes if you're going to be going into oil paint go ahead and get yourself the opal brushes but also get the golden tacklons if you want to do more of the smooth type of skin textures and and anything else of smooth surfaces it's nice to have a blend of brushes and it's nice to have a different variations because as you go along in paint you're going to come across different areas that let's say a flat brush might not work well a flat brush might not work well with your style of doing hair so you might have to go and grab a round brush and now you can get the hair perfect how you want it so i'd say definitely check these guys out make sure you grab the brushes i'll see you guys in the next one peace